It's a very good afternoon from uh, Lucknow, the uh, capital of the state of uh, Uttar Pradesh. I'm actually on a uh, horse and cart ride. It reminds me of uh, Steptoe and Sun. We're chilling out. The clock tower is just there. The guy I think is struggling a little bit with his horse. He's giving the horse a rest. Let's see what this horse ride is like. Stick with me. Or stick with the horse. This is the infamous clock tower of uh, Lucknow. The, the horse and cart guy just stopped here for a break so he told me to check this place out. This is the uh, clock tower of Lucknow and uh, it's actually quite a decent city. Very very historic. Lots to see here, lots to do. Lots of architecture dating back to 1700s, 1800s in particular. And this clock tower, once the uh, British settled here. In fact, the British were famous for building a lot of clock towers. You find them all over uh, India and also what is now Pakistan, when, which was undivided India at the time. Lots of clock towers in the towns and cities. Just like this, this is quite fantastic. I saw this late night with the lights on and it was actually superb. But let's get back on the car because he's waiting for me back on board. I think the horse is going to gallop now after a rest. It's had a bit of a break. It's galloping at whatever the gallop speed is. It's actually quite a hot day here and uh, you get quite a bit of a breeze when uh, you're out about like this. But because you've got so many cars, scooters, cows and God knows what else all taking the road you don't know when you're going to pile up into a jam but so far so good in this horse and cart ride in Lucknow this is where I actually started the horse and cart journey from the Imam Bara Lucknow's most famous attraction where the royal family used to live Full of uh, historical structures like this Lucknow. Uh, just a mosque over there. Uh, 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 Entrance is coming up just over here. Uh, uh, the horse is struggling a little bit. Uh, the, the, the chap uh, is uh, uh, making some noises. Uh, 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 scared me. Uh, but that's uh, the Imam Bara entrance. Every time he does that, I get a little bit scared. He's got a bit of a temper on him, I feel, the bloke. The driver. A little bit scary. Very scary bloke. If you want to scare someone, have him on your side. Please. He's almost willing the horse on to make a move, get a move on. He's talking to the horse. Maybe he's maybe maybe he speaks the horse's language. It's actually picking up some speed. I think he knows which buttons to press. And then the horse gets a move on, slows down, it turns, it moves, and it shakes. A lot of traffic, a lot of build-up, a lot of build-up here, a lot of traffic. And so you've got you've to gotta know how to get the horse moving, I guess, in this tense atmosphere that exists basically coming up towards the end of our trip on this horse it's been a wonderful actual experience it's been a, a bit of time actually since I've uh, been in a horse and cart ride uh, like this so if ever you're in the neck of those woods make it a uh, an occasion I guess to go on a horse and cart ride 
uh, because it is a, quite a wonderful experience. I'm going to move on from here, go to my next destination, think about what else I want to see. But uh, from the horse and cart ride, with the chap, with so much aggression and venom in here. He's still shouting. It's goodbye. <laughs>